Nikki Thomas. What one thing have you not done that you really want to do, and what is holding you back? What one thing have you not done that you really want to do, and what is holding you back? Mickey Thomas. Hello, Toastmasters, the most welcome guests. There is one thing I really want to do before I take my last breath is to go to Africa and serve the orphans. Most likely I would like to go to Kenya or that area, central area. I don't know why, but most likely when I read books by Hemingway about his experiences in Africa, somehow something drawn to me. And I have been making connection with the say, um, non-profit organization, African director, Cyrus Bondo, whom I have known him for 11 years, and we are connected again <laughs> last year. So I have been walking, working to follow him when he got, goes to Africa a few times a year. <clears throat> but the problem is that I have to marry to share a room with somebody because I don't want to share a room with strangers, <laughs> Christian <laughs> organization, missionary work. And I was turned down. So I'm not married, although I have a very, very wonderful person. So it is a great decision, you see. Deep down in my heart, I don't want to marry. <laughs> I, although I'd like to share, you know, time with him. And so I am like this. Think, put yourself in my shoes, please. <laughs> and so my lifelong dream to go to Africa and play with and work with, serve to those orphans. I know rough idea of what it is. And I feel, yes, I must make a decision and take an action, you know. Find a way, Mickey. Go and fulfill your dream. I was surprised I won at the club level. And when you become a winner at our club level, then chances of moving up has been greater because of the track record we have, historical record. And um, always at the end when the contest comes, my thought is uh, let's have a good time, fun time, nothing else. I wanted to win, but you know, that last moment, all I wanted was just have a good time, fun time, and which I did, so I'm quite happy about that. Now, when you were up there, mm -hmm. the question, yes. Roy and I looked at the question, we, we were concerned about the question for you. Then we, when we found out from the first person what the question was, we both looked at each other and started smiling. That was up your alley. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you heard the question, what did you think? Is, there are a few things now. There are a few things I really want to do this lifetime, but then, then that trip to Africa and stay there for at least few weeks and playing with often kids and helping them to learn English, whatever they want to improve, is the thing that I planned to go last year, but didn't materialize. I was rejected because I wasn't married. Oh, that's right. What you talked about. <laughs> so. But to go third place, I mean, your competition in this, at this level, was very good. Yes. For you to come in at third place, mm -hmm. What's your feelings about that? Is that the honest one is that I really wanted to win, despite the fact I wanted to have a good time as well. 
So there is a kind of disappointment. And then I truly think the first place winner deserves it. She had the same quality and presence I didn't have. One know. time at the meeting you talked about not getting past the club contest yeah. and the things that worked out for you. It's Explain that a little bit. Is that the bottom line for winning the contests or delivering a better speeches outside Toastmaster is practice, practice, practice at the club level. So I have been attending Warren's Toastmaster meetings, you know, on and off. Then I have become more consistent attending cl our club's meetings. So the my delivery got rusty three, four years ago because I didn't attend on a regular, consistent basis. But now I have been doing them. What club are you from? I am from Youngstown Executive Toastmasters, Paul O'Eight. Hey! Tell us, what made you join Toastmasters? I just followed my husband, deceased husband. He has been on and off Toastmaster member, and I had no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> But I have gained a tremendous knowledge, skills on how to speak in front of the people. But mostly by, through, by speaking and accomplishing manual speeches and other things, I realize what I am made of. Mm -hmm. Incredible discovery. I know a lot <coughs> more about who I am because of those messages. Wonderful. Thank you.